Life City family, what is up? It is Bobby about to go into the big Whole Foods here on the north side of Chicago. Uh, if you want to see me, I'm usually at this one on Ashland and Belmont about three times a week. And I want to show you what's new, what's exciting, what's healthy at Whole Foods right now and stuff that I really buy. And the fun thing is every time you go in there, there's new stuff. It pops up left and right. And the ingredients I keep seeing these days are next level. So let's go in there, show you what to buy, what to avoid, and why. That's the goal to always make you the best shopper so you buy the best quality stuff for you and your family. Before we get rocking and rolling, like, subscribe, share. That's the only way this channel grows. There's also a bell icon below the video. Enable all notifications. That way you get a push as soon as we go live with our six videos every week. I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my link down below. Um, I go to a lot of grocery stores, but Thrive has everything I normally get at any grocery store for your favorite organic, non-GMO, keto, paleo goodies. The box comes to your front door so you don't have to leave the house. They have a price scanner on the app so you can scan anything at the grocery store. It'll tell you if it's cheaper or if there's a better alternative on Thrive Market. And clicking my link down in the description box gets you a free gift right now, up to $24. One of those gifts is grass-fed chopsticks and it's 30 days risk-free. There's nothing to worry about. Try out Thrive down below. You're gonna love them. Now let's mask up and go shopping at Whole Foods. Uh, my friends, there are some pretty exciting things happening in these two cases right here. I start in the egg case because everyone wants portable, easy breakfast recipes. There's two new players to the game, Organic Valley Egg Bites and Vital Farms Pasture-Raised Egg Bites. Typically, you think of egg bites from uh, Starbucks, right? Very low quality. If you look at the ingredients, it's GMO eggs with uh, carrageenan and other ingredients. The game has been stepped up now. These are the pasture-raised ones from Vital. These are the Organic Valley ones here. Let me show you the ingredients. All right, they're both really clean. This is the Organic Valley one. Everything's organic. There's no nasty carrageenan. There's actually no nasty preservatives at all. Uh, I wish they were using full fat cottage cheese there because I'm all about full fat dairy, but all in all very clean. $3.99 per two egg bites. These are the Vital Farms one. And these are actually the ones I'd go with because whole milk ricotta, uh, what else? Organic mozzarella cheese and it's pasture raised. Actually, the ingredient list is even less and they're on sale right now and they're more expensive normally, but right now they're on sale for two. Keep in mind, these are gonna be pasture raised, free to forage. These are just organic, right? They're still gonna be uh, inside, confined to indoor areas. I'd go with these. Pasture raised have a higher nutritional content. It's really, really cool. And if you want, the Flav City Keto Egg Bite recipe that's in the cookbook is also on my blog. I'll leave the link down below. It's really easy to make these, but if you want a quick and easy fix, these are the ones you want to go with. And the price is right right now. And then right over here is the other exciting thing. We talked about this in a recent fridge and pantry haul, lava. These guys make Rose's favorite plant-based yogurt. They're now making Peely Nut milk sprouted peely nut milk i've been saying this a lot lately i think peely nuts are going to be the nut of 2021 laird superfood just came out with their sprouted peely nuts this is peely nut milk and the ingredients i got to give them credit are next level look at that it's sprouted peely nuts coconut water and water that's it super super high quality and remember when you have sprouted peely nuts that activates more um, nutrients and enzymes in there and even the chocolate milk one, there's almost no chocolate milk I recommend on the market. There's zero grams of added sugar. They just do it with fair trade cacao and maca in Himalayan pink salt. Look at those macros, zero grams of added sugar. It might only be at Whole Foods right now, but they do a great job with that. And I always have this in my fridge. This is, uh, in my opinion, the best almond milk on the market because of a few things. It's cold pressed, so it's not high uh, pasteurized and high uh, processed. But look at the ingredients. It's sprouted almonds, Himalayan salt, and do you see any emulsifiers? Look at any other plant-based milk on the market. Hold on a second here. You're always gonna see oils and gums. This one here has a rapeseed oil and uh, other stuff. That's because the normal uh, almond milks or any kind of nut milks have about like seven or eight uh, almonds per cup. This one has about 22 or 23 and it's richer and thicker and there's no emulsifiers. And keep in mind, when you sprout almonds, that removes the anti-nutrients or the lectins. The skin of the almond is an anti-nutrient and unless you sprout it or remove it, uh, it does not go away. By sprouting it, it goes away, unlocking also nutrients and enzymes. This is expensive, 
but it's really good. I use this for like um, making granola bowls or having like a glass of almond milk. But then I'll use something like this for my smoothies, the, not the vanilla one, the plain one, which they're out of right now, because it gets kind of expensive to make smoothies with the milk. But milk sprouted is fantastic. And the peely nut sprouted milk is fantastic too. Really cool things happening here. Uh, if you saw my Instagram stories in Boca Raton, Florida the other week with Erica, we made a lobster and crab pasta dish with this gluten-free linguine. And oh my gosh, it's amazing. Now it is a little pricey, but man, the texture is like real fresh pasta using flour. It's called Taste Republic. It's from Madison. What a Badger alum here, class of 2000. Uh, check this out. It's made with brown rice flour, which is a complex carbohydrate, then a little bit of potato starch and tapioca starch as the binder, eggs, xanthan gum I'm fine with, and that ingredient I've never seen before, gluconodeltalactone, is a natural acidifier found in wine. So I'm okay with that. Here's the deal, this is great, but you might see this cauliflower linguine and be like, oh, this is probably keto, I'll get this. Well, first of all, it's another $2 more expensive versus this one. But it's not keto, so it's interesting. It's cauliflower, but it's the same ingredients as the other one after that. And if you compare the macros, this one has 45 grams of total carbs and four grams of fiber. This one has 45 grams of total carbs and one carb of fiber, or one gram of fiber. So I wouldn't go with this just because there's nothing special about it. I'd rather actually have the texture of the brown rice. It's gonna be more like a linguine, and my God. Uh, I'll share the recipe down below. I typed it up for Instagram linguine with crab and, and uh, lobster meat and peas. It was so darn delicious. I think, someone leave a comment down below. Have you seen this at Costco? I've seen it on Instagram. I've never had it at my Costco, but if you have it there, grab it. If not, splurge, try it out. I think you're gonna like it a lot. Here's a new player to the nut butter area here. Have anyone ever seen this before? Look at this, this is roasted watermelon seed butter. First of all, I didn't even know you can make watermelon seeds into butter. I actually eat a uh, sprouted seed mix in a bag that has sprouted uh, watermelon seeds and pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. But to make a butter out of it, here's the deal. It's really expensive. It's $15. Uh, and oh, why do they do this? So it's watermelon seeds and then they sweeten it with powdered sugar that has cane sugar. Oh, and they add organic sunflower oil. Even if that works, feather press sunflower oil is uh, inflammatory. So I don't know. I can't approve that one. It's really interesting, but has anyone ever seen this before? And the same company also has roasted pumpkin seed butter. I haven't seen that, but pumpkin seeds are more popular. But once again, come on guys, get rid of the powdered sugar. Maybe put maple syrup you don't need the oil in here. See, this one has organic expeller pressed sunflower oil. So I can't do that, but watermelon seeds, who knew that? Uh, and if you're looking for the best jam on the market, we have a whole video about that. But these guys, Crofters Organic Superfruit, just the fruit spread is my favorite and best in class because all these fruits and berries have to be organic. That's how they do everything organic. And it's only sweetened with juice concentrates. Like, look at this. Uh, pomegranate, grape concentrate, and it's very little, four grams of added sugar per tablespoon. A lot of these on the market will have double or triple that amount of sugar with cane sugar, not fruit juice concentrate. The only one who comes close to this is Trader Joe's, just the fruit spread organic. It's one gram more of sugar and it's actually about a dollar cheaper. So just thought I should point that out as long as we're here next to that crazy watermelon butter. Remember in the Aldi video last week, I was talking about those immune boosting turmeric shots. And in the Trader Joe's video the other week, the Acerola shots, well, those are great prices. And I talk about the competitors being really expensive. Here's what I was talking about. This one, this is an immune boosting turmeric shot here. This one is $3.99. Pretty much the exact version of this at Aldi is uh, $1.79. We talked about that in last week's video. So while I do believe in turmeric and ginger immune boosting shots, and my turmeric uh, ginger immune boosting tea powder is coming out at the end of the month, pre-sale link in the description box where I have limited quantities. We already have a ton of signups. I'm very excited. It's my first product ever. It's gonna be best in class ingredients. This is clean, but that price is not something I'd want. So stick with the one at uh, Trader Joe's or Aldi, not this one. While I appreciate the plant-based food game getting bigger and bigger, it's just, I wish they could up the ingredient quality more. So I haven't seen this before. This is Beyond Meat Sausages. Beyond Meat does have one of the better burger ingredients but it's still highly processed products, you guys. So we have pea protein here. 
It's not organic pea, so you have to be careful with the heavy, lead, uh, heavy metal content in there. Uh, expeller pressed canola oil, refined coconut oil, natural flavors, and yeast extract, followed by a ton of vitamin fortified ingredients. So I understand that it's plant-based, but it's so processed at that point, it's just not something I really would want you to eat. Uh, and this is new too. This is not egg, egg. <laughs> uh, mung bean protein isolate. Mung bean is actually very good for you. Expeller pressed canola oil, GMO cornstarch, more cornstarch. So I understand what they're trying to do. I just wish the ingredients were better. Not something I want to put in my body. I absolutely love these Siete grain-free burrito wrappers. They're huge and they're fantastic. And if you remember, on a live stream a couple months ago, I had a fail. I tried making a burrito, but I didn't do it right. I didn't warm these in a large cast iron pan or a comal, but I did that recently on Instagram stories and it makes it soft and pliable. And I stuffed it with the most delicious cauliflower rice and uh, chicken and uh, salsa and everything. It was delicious. And can I show you the ingredients here? It's paleo. It's paleo because it's cassava flour instead of flour. It's avocado oil, coconut flour, apple cider vinegar, touch of coconut sugar. It's not low carb, but it's grain free and it is expensive, right? It's six for $10, but there's nothing else on the market like this. It's so good. And if you're looking for the grain free tortillas, I used to be on Team Cashew. But cashew seems to be discontinued these days. Almond flour is where it's at. Or has anyone tried it? I still haven't bought these yet. The Whole Foods 365 version of almond flour tortillas. They're definitely cheaper than Siete. And the ingredients are really clean too. So if you've tried those, please leave a comment down below. I'm super curious if those are as good as the Siete. I'm gonna start making more bone broth now that it's cold and flu season. We actually have a five ingredient, uh, semi-homemade uh, bone broth recipe in our cookbook coming out on December 1st. I'll put the pre-order link down below. It's live on Amazon to pre-order. Uh, but one that I always have in my pantry is Kettle and Fire. You guys know that? But I've been ordering some of their soups lately to sip on, so I have about a cup every day. This one, the butter chicken one is so delicious. It's made with next level ingredients. Organic chicken broth, bone broth, Look at all these yummy organic flavors here, organic butter. And then I love the fact that towards the bottom, there's organic MCT oil and turmeric puree, which helps with the uh, immune boosting and the anti-inflammatory. This is fantastic. Uh, a little pricey at the grocery store, but I always have my 15% off promo code for kettleandfire.com. I'll put the link down below, but set your calendars to Tuesday. I'm doing a live stream with these guys and they're giving us a 24 hour flash sale of 30% off any product on their website, plus free shipping. That'll be Tuesday at four o'clock Chicago time. So make sure to set a reminder, but this stuff is really good for you. Immune system, hair, skin, and really, really tasty. And they do it right. Speaking of collagen, you guys know I love this collagen flavored water from Vital Proteins, but if you're a Costco shopper, it's $1.24 per bottle at Costco. It's $3.49 a bottle here at uh, Whole Foods. So go to Costco, get that box for $1.24 a bottle. It's crazy. It's so delicious. It's just collagen with a little bit of strawberry juice, no natural flavors. It's the real deal. But the savings at Costco are legit. This is something I would not buy at Whole Foods. New product alert, new product alert. We got a Keto & Co chocolate granola. There's more and more keto stuff showing up, especially in the breakfast style here. Let's see what the dealio is here. First of all, wow, they are just charging such a premium for this granola. All keto stuff is such a premium. Let's see the ingredients though. So sunflower seeds, Wondrose sugar replacer. That must be their proprietary sweetener here. Erythritol non-GMO corn fiber, monk fruit, natural flavors, uh, coconut oil, doesn't say virgin coconut oil, and more natural flavors. I just can't find one that does it right. They always have to use natural flavors. This one twice. Doesn't say if the erythritol is from, uh, is non-GMO, because it's from corn. And wow, wow, wee wow, that's expensive. I just wish people would do clean keto, do it right, because there's another one here. And I applaud them for having more keto stuff at the grocery store, but another one, Catalina Crunch, insanely expensive too, on sale now. But same thing, look what kind of oil they're using here, organic high oleic sunflower oil. You're much better off with avocado, olive oil, or virgin coconut oil, more natural flavors, and the pea protein is not uh, organic. So listen, 
I like stuff that's low carb and non-starchy and non-grainy like a lot of this stuff, but you have to do a clean. You can't charge this premium, premium prices if you're using natural flavors and inferior fats. That's my biggest pet peeve with uh, keto. It's gotta be clean. If you do it the wrong way, you're gonna ruin the keto diet for everyone. I'm telling you, trust me. I just walked past the uh, salad dressings here and I saw something brand new and it kind of made me excited because look at this, Epic has chicken bits and pork bits that I guess go on top of a uh, salad if you want. Look at this, chicken sesame bits. Looks like it's dried chicken jerky. It's $6.99 for a three ounce bag here. Ingredients, natural chicken. I do know that Epic is non-GMO and they're actually um, transitioning over to uh, pasture raised. Uh, rest of the ingredients are super duper clean. Currants, sesame oil, ginger, red pepper flakes. So that's kind of cool if you want to boost a salad here. There's two grams of protein per nine pieces and there's 12 servings in here. So hey, a little extra protein boost, but here's something cool. Let's see the ingredients for the maple pork. Pork bacon bits. You guys remember bacon bits in the can you'd sprinkle over salad back in the day? That stuff is horrific. This could be the new Bobby approved version of that. Let's see. So there's the bacon bits in there. It's uncured bacon. How do they sweeten it there with maple sugar, which is uh, the granulated dried version of maple syrup. And keep in mind that uh, Epic is non-GMO pork and they're also transitioning over to pasture raised. So this is super, super cool. You want a little protein fix on your side dish or your salad, this is the way to go. Yes, a little pricey, but one of the first things I've ever seen in this category before. Hold on, before I leave here, this is the bizarrest item of the day. Italian cheese dressing. Look at this. It looks like liquefied Parmigiano. The ingredients are pretty interesting. It's grape must, vinegar, vinegar, uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. The thing is, how do they get it congealed and uh, thickened with GMO cornstarch, unfortunately, and some GMO milk. Not terrible, but weird. $11 for congealed cheese dressing. Not for me, but that is going to rank as the most bizarre item of the day. How bizarre, how bizarre. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. So I got an email two days ago asking me to check out Kevin's Prepared Food. This guy Kevin's taken over. Uh, I've seen him in Costco too, and everything he makes is paleo. The ingredients are good, but there could be a little better. Probably the cleanest one here at uh, Whole Foods is this paleo lemongrass chicken. They're not cheap, but $9.99 for a big meal is not terrible. If we see the ingredients, Everything is chicken based. I wish it was uh, non-GMO or even better organic chicken. And all of the ingredients are pretty good except one. Can you guys spot that one ingredient there? I'll come back to it, but look at this. Uh, coconut milk, coconut cream, uh, a little bit of coconut sugar there for the paleo sweetener. Everything is really nice, but I noticed that Kevin uses a lot of yeast extract in all of his uh, foods. Wow, this is low carb and keto. The thing is guys, yeast extract is a slightly better uh, version of MSG. It's a chemical food enhancer designed to make your taste buds and brain excited. So I really try to avoid it. Otherwise, if you got rid of that, this would be Bobby approved. Uh, there's more yeast extract in this one and a little bit of oil, I believe here that I didn't love. I see sunflower oil there. And there's one at Costco, uh, Korean chicken one. Actually, this one right here, Korean chicken, but it has way more yeast extract. And they do have a uh, keto kind of like General Tso's cauliflower, and there's one yeast extract in there, and that's it. If you're keto, I'd say try it, but yeast extract, try to eliminate that. You don't wanna see it. Otherwise, Kevin is doing pretty, pretty good. I am over the moon excited that the bulk section of Whole Foods is finally reopened. It's about 75% capacity, but I'm totally cool with that because all of this stuff is cheaper because you're not paying for the packaging and the spices are starting to come back. It's so much cheaper to do uh, bulk spices versus buying the ones in those glass containers. Literally a fraction of the price. They only have a few of them here, but when these come back in full, this is where you buy your spices from, not the ones on the shelves over there because those are overpriced. It looks like when you enter the bulk section here, you gotta clean up and use some gloves and everything, but hey, if that's what it takes to keep this open, I'm down with that because this was the biggest section that I was missing during Corona because it was off limits completely. All right, Flavor City family, that is it. That's what I love to buy right here, right now at Whole Foods. Some really great stuff, some new items that just keep popping up every time I come here, but it's super duper exciting. Uh, also exciting is the Flav City t-shirts. I'm not wearing one right now, 
but the original Flav City t-shirts with food puns is live. I'll put that link down below. You see me wear them on the live streams all the time. And the Flav City immune boosting tea, the turmeric and ginger immune boosting tea is coming at about uh, October 31st. I'll put that pre-sale list down below. Sign up because it's gonna go really quickly and the ingredients are best in class. That's the only way we roll. Uh, like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing is by you spreading that love, telling your loved ones, telling your family members. I got two more videos below me right now. But Art and Desi and Rose, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys.